This recording is going to be the F major, B flat major, and E flat major scales. F major is not really the most difficult one. You will be going to third, uh, third position cellos, and the shift is going to be from the C, the first finger D, a whole step shift. So once you get that shift really in tune, everything else becomes super easy. So here we go. We're going to start with the F major scale. Ready? Go now. Okay, now B flat, B flat and E flat. Um, on this one, the shift that you're going to be going from, you're going to be shifting from fourth finger F natural in third position to first finger G. Again, might be sounding like a siren, driving your dog crazy, driving your carrots crazy. However, that's the shift that you really want to get in tune. So here we go, B flat major, low ones, low twos, be careful. Ready, go now. shift to second uh, third position for that D notice that I had to do a second finger E that's because it's an E flat so it has to be a half step it's gotta be the same note wherever whatever octave it's in okay now we're on to E flat major E flat major is gonna be um, not tricky but you're gonna go into third position then shift back to second position and the reason why is because you have A flats in this so B flat E flat A flat so we're gonna start out second finger here. Then when you shift to G here, A flat, B flat. Then you're gonna to have to go back to second position, C, D, E flat. You don't wanna do try to do an extension for that. That would be very, very bad. That would be an E natural and an E flat major. It'll sound really bad. Okay, so mostly the, the part I want you to practice on first is starting that E flat on the D string. <laughs> going back and forth from second position to third back to third position coming down the scale that usually provides a little bit of, of pitchiness so anyway we're gonna start at the beginning of the scale now now that you know your part that you want to practice before you do the scale so here we go ready and go now or the Brahms uh, two octave scales. Happy practicing, guys. Keep working on it. You're going to get this, and it's going to make you such a better musician when you do. All right? Thanks.